Okay, I want to start this video by saying 2023 has been one of the best years in gaming in probably since I've started this channel, at least from the gamer perspective. But when you look at just how many studios have been hit with either layoffs or have been shut down, we have talked about a bunch of corpos coming in, buying up all of these dev teams, spending a shit ton of money, and then just closing them all down by saying that it's part of their restructuring plan. Embracer Group has done this, G7 has done this, and it's a affected a lot of games that I have covered on this channel. I've been covering all of these dying stars over the last like five or six years. And unfortunately, man, like th I, th I, I actually can't believe the headline that I'm reading. Um, but unfortunately, the news has just broken that Insurgency Sandstorm developers New World Interactive have been shut down by Embracer Group. This, this hurts. New World Interactive, the studio behind Insurgency and Insurgency Sandstorm have been shut down by Embracer Group as part of the company's self-described restructuring, man. Fuck Embracer Group, dude. Embracer Group is one of those companies who have just purchased a shit ton of development studios and are now just axing them left, right, and center, man. I fucking hate Embracer Group. The announcement was made to employees on Monday morning, so literally just a few hours ago, everybody at NWI just got laid off. They're done. Founded in 2010, New World Interactive's first game, Insurgency, released in 2014. The studio put out two more titles, Day of Infamy and Sandstorm, before being acquired by Embracer Group in August of 2020. The studio had multiple new games in development as of 2023, but none had been revealed. And I gotta say, man, I was actually really looking forward to seeing their next titles. I loved Insurgency Sandstorm when it first launched, when we got to play the beta, and then that launch on Steam, it was it was fucking awesome. I didn't like the direction the game was going. I didn't like how they shifted to focus on monetization and microtransactions and all of that other shit. Now you kind of understand why. Embracer Group has yet to respond to comment on the closure of New World Interactive or respond to requests from Insider Gaming. Recently, Embracer confirmed that Free Radical Design was at risk of closure while also laying off employees at multiple other studios. They've also been in talks of selling the Borderlands developer Gearbox Interactive. So you guys can see here, Crystal Dynamics back in September struck by the Embracer layoff curse. Back in late August, early September, Volition, an Embracer studio, ceased operating after 30 years in the business. So not only did Crystal Dynamics get hit, NWI is now shut down. Free Radical at risk of being shut down. Oh man. And I gotta say, as like a studio that has managed to, even though I wasn't a fan of the direction that they took the game, they have managed to at least remain successful keeping up the content for Sandstorm. They just released a huge patch here a couple of weeks ago. I, 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 like, I'm actually kind of mind blown, dude. Uh, like back in the day when Insurgency was out, I had a community, like before I was even like on YouTube, I had a community and we played in the DGL and we found a home in Insurgency. We played in the DGL. We had a competitive roster. The initial Insurgency is one of those games that literally like holds a place in my heart as one of the best FPS experiences that I've had since jumping into the PC landscape. And man, it hurts. It hurts to see where NWI came from only to be fucking bought out by Embracer when, I'll, I'll say this, dude, NWI started to change up around 2019, 2020. They brought in other people who were more focused on making fucking money than it was. It, it, it went from a modding, a group of ragtag modders who were friends creating cool shit to a fucking company so focused on microtransactions and, and then being bought out by Embracer and then now we're here, man. And, and like the shitty thing is, is even though I don't like where Insurgency Sandstorm ended up, I was such a fan of NWI that I was so looking forward to their future titles only because I know the developers themselves, the guys who are building these games are talented as fuck and we won't even get to see it. 
Much like what happened recently with G7 shutting down the Rising Storm 2 developers, Antimatter Games. And if you guys don't know what's going on with Antimatter Games, I'm gonna have a link to my video detailing that entire situation. It is a crazy comeback story for them. I'm gonna have that link somewhere at the top. But unfortunately, guys, I think development of Insurgency Sandstorm is either about to end or has ended today. We still haven't heard official word yet, but the future of NWI is gone. I'll say this, as somebody going through the process, talking with publishers and companies who want to own a piece of that pie, even at our level, at such a small level with Transients, I understand the need to fund development and do all of these things. But when you get into situations where you have a, a conglomerate corporation buying your studio, that's pretty much the final nail in the coffin, at least from the last few years, that's what I've seen and what I've noticed. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, let's have a conversation. Uh, I, I'm I, like, my heart goes out to everybody at New World Interactive. Um, man. My name is Big Fry. Thank you guys for watching. If you're watching this day one, tomorrow I'm going to have my entire reaction to the Grand Theft Auto trailer. And if you guys want to check out what's going on with Antimatter Games and Blue Dot Games, there's a whole story there. A nice comeback story from a, a, a situation very similar to this for the Rising Storm 2 developers. I'm going to have that link somewhere at the top as well as the pinned comment and description. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Big Fry. I'll see you on the next one.